This is Central Coast News Tonight. We begin our look at some of the untold stories from the L.A. quake, starting with the littlest survivors. The storm brought a little bit of everything to the Central Coast, including snow. We'll have the story for you. And a ballot measure to legalize marijuana gets its Central Coast kickoff. We'll have those stories. Also, a look back at last week's Olympic highlights and a must-win situation for the American hockey team. It's all coming up on this President's Day, February 21st, 1994. You're watching KCCN-TV. Now, live, this is Central Coast News at 11. Good evening, everybody. I'm Ed Bradford. And I'm Karina Russ. Thanks for staying up late with us. A blast of winter has done wonders for our water situation. This is the sixth straight day we've been rained on. Meteorologist Bob Bernard says the storm series brings Monterey County close to 90% of normal rainfall. Lake Nacimiento rose 8 to 10 feet in the last few days, and Lake San Antonio is up at least a foot, changing the look from two years ago. This was dry. Uh, 1986 was the last time the lake was at full capacity. And it will take much more rain to reach that full capacity level, but water watchers say this point, it's good news, especially for growers in South Monterey County. There has been a lot of talk about rainfall totals over the past few days, a lot of numbers flying around, but those weren't numbers that were falling up in the mountains of Santa Cruz last week. That was the real thing, and what a week it was weather-wise. Gale force winds whipping away at everything. A giant redwood tree that came crashing down on a house, hail coming down in a steady stream of ice pellets, and then finally snow falling up in the mountains. No, this wasn't the Sierra, this was Santa Cruz. All in one week in one place, and yet some people took it all in stride. And, and they hardly ever hit a house, so it's like the coconuts falling out of the trees. You know, they, how often do they hit you on the head? Just, uh, I guess it's, it's worth it. And you know, it's good that some folks in Santa Cruz County are so positive about this because another storm is heading in this weekend. Meanwhile, bad weather in Southern California may have finally delivered the knockout punch to a house in Los Angeles that was...